Fleming Rasmussen. We're at Sweet Silent Studios, Copenhagen, and I'm going to show you some presets for the TC2290 DT. It's already installed. I have it here on my screen, and I have the uh, the remote unit here, which is really handy because it feels just like the old unit, which is sitting down here. I haven't imported any any of the old presets yet, but I will do uh, in time. This is a uh, lead vocal preset for a chorus. It's a band called Cosmic Thunder. I want the re the delay to to appear when he's in the pauses between the singing. So I'm using the dynamic volume control, which is over here. And you just click it and pull the mouse up and down. It's on full now. And in conjunction with the depth uh, on the envelope and in the dynamic mode, you can actually change how, how much it's, it's doing it. So check this out. It sounds like this. Melody, they say. Was lost along the way. Songs of yesterday create seasons. The echo appears when he's not singing, and when he's singing, the echo is being suppressed. You can kind of change that as you go along. Um, and of course, I've set it in sync mode, so it's now on uh, one eighth note, uh, but that depends on your, your tempo settings in your DAV. Um, and this is one of the things that I've used a lot with the old unit, and I'm for sure going to use that a lot on this new unit. Uh, and it works absolutely perfect. So the name of the preset for this is Vocal Dynamic 1. Um, Vox Dynamic 1, I've, that's the way I spell it. We're not going to go to do a new one, so we'll just take any of the standard ones original preset, there's a long delay, we'll use that. And I now want to open up the, um, the acoustic guitar solo. Just copy this sent down to there, good one. Because as I said before, this is in send return mode, so here we go. <laughs> So that's a fairly standard. I just need to put mix on 99, so it's just the delay. Then I want to make, make sure it pans, so we'll go and pan. And it is, delay is about 405 milliseconds, so it does that two and a half times. In a second, so if we say 40.40 40 in speed, and we need to, like on the pan and full depth, it'll pan uh, left to right, and we'll hit delay and pan, and it should pan left to right. That's good for making it a bit wider because I also have some, some stereo mics on it. So when I put them on and there's no delay on those, it'll just make the, the, the mid signal seem wider. You can pair, the way I've set it up, you can pan the return in if you want. But this is the kind of delays I use a lot. Save that as, save as, long delay pan, one. So this is saved as uh, long delay pan one, and I've set the time so it more or less fits with the tempo. That's not always something you want to do, that depends on the song, but right on this particular one I set it like that. And we have a guitar solo here, and it sounds something like... And to me, that's a bit messy, so uh, 
Let me start by doing some feedbacks and maybe a slight bit of the uh, panning on that. I think we'll start by altering this the uh, speed. <laughs> The good thing about this is you have the learn button, so you just tap, so it's not 100% accurate, which is sometimes nice. Feedback you have down here, and if you want to make it a bit more old school, you have a high pass, uh, uh, a low pass filter, which is you turn off the highs. And I think we're going to go all the way down to 2K, cut some of the lows up to 400, so it sounds more vintage. So that's, and I've set the feedback level to about 33, that's because it's, that's my wife's lucky number. See, not bad. Maybe a bit longer. See, see, that's a good number, seven, six, seven. That, and when it looks good, it, it normally also sounds good. Then I want to pan it a bit, so you go into the modulation mode up here. You go down to pan, and this is let's do random. Uh, so that's a bit. That's one and a half times each second. So if we do it 0.75. And we let the depth be that, and then you hit on the in the uh, modulation mode you, with the pan. You hit that one, and you put it on the delay, and now it should pan. Yeah, we want it faster than that, so you just go into the speed here. So if we do that one and a half times each second. That's, I like that, because that, that kind of goes a bit faster than the delay actually is. And it'll actually make it a bit wider in stereo. Let me just pan this solo slightly to the left, because that's where it is in the mix. <laughs> Sounds great in the mix. So we'll save that as, save us. pretty simple. You just hit save us. Solo, guitar, echo. One, because you may do more than one. And then you just hit save. And if you want it as a user preset, you hit the assign button and that'll go as, Preset four, there you go. So now you can scroll through your presets, but this is pretty good. Here we go. That's really nice. And that's, that's the kind of delays we used a lot on the Metallica albums, long delays on, on Kirk solos. Um, unfortunately, I just wrote the presets down, but I'm gonna have to dig those out of my old machines. But if you check uh, my old website, there's some notes, you can see what was on there. But that was using the original unit. So that's it, solo guitar echo one.